How you see your role uh, unfolding this year? Um, Torrey Hunter getting more more time on the field, but but still, obviously, you're a you're a weapon to this team uh, on occasion as well. Uh, yeah, um, you know, just kind of expanding the route tree for us at, at the Z position, and just got to be there to be you know a reliable person uh, to you know make a tough catch over the middle or you know get the ball in space and you know make somebody miss it and, and get a first down for the team. So. Um, you know, my role is kind of, you know, whatever Coach Kelly right. and Coach Denbrock kind of entrust me to do, and you know, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help the team. Right. Is this what you guys envision? I mean, I think for a couple of years now, you guys have kind of envisioned that, okay, we're gathering these weapons mm -hmm. offensively. And I don't know that it's always clicked, but it, it, it certainly has up to this point in the season. Is this kind of what you guys pictured all along? Yeah, you know, we, we, we have a lot of explosive guys, yeah. and, um, you know, the offense is starting to, to kind of get its groove and you know we, we're on the same page you know quarterback receivers offensive line running back so you know when you have a lot of explosive guys and a lot of playmakers and you know you're on the same page you see success and you know the main point for us is just really having that attention to detail and, and executing the game plan but you know we definitely have the firepower to, to put up points kind of ironic isn't it that the former running back is mm -hmm. a slot receiver and the former slot receiver is now the running yeah. back yeah, that is funny. Um, you know, CJ's been doing great at running back too. Um, this is kind of a testament to how, how great of an athlete he is, right. going from defense to to receiver to now to running back, and you know he's had success wherever he, he's been on the field. Right, you still get a taste of that though on some mm -hmm. of those jet sweeps, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I like where I am too. I, I receiver, I like you know the space out there, but you know it's, it's definitely fun to get yeah. the ball in the hands and run with. It. I know that every game is meaningful, but is this any more meaningful or special to you? You know, personally, uh, for me personally, it's it's a big game for us because we have to to keep our playoff hopes alive. We have to take it one game at a time. Um, you know, the previous history really don't focus on that. To be honest, this is just the next game and on our schedule, and you know, it's a must-win game for us. So that's you know why it's a big game for me personally. Was it different maybe the first couple times you played against yeah. them, and now it's kind of old hat? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know. It's, you know, the first time I played, was, especially there's a lot of guys that yeah. that I knew yeah, on the team. Is. Now it's you know yeah. older guys, fifth year guys on, on the team now. But um, so you know, it's it's I'm just focused on you know the importance of you know doing what I have to do and, and executing out there on the field. How have you evolved uh, at the slot receiver position? I mean, it was a couple of years ago. We're asking you, do you feel like a running back or slot <laughs> receiver? We don't ask you those kind of yeah. questions now. I mean, how do you think you've evolved at the the position? Um. Really just studying defenses and, and understanding coverages and knowing how to kind of work your way through across the middle and, and have a feel for the defense um, has really helped. You know, that work, doing that in the offseason and really watching film has you know, allowed me to have a, a comfortability um, when I'm out there playing now.